You're very happy. You just purchased your brand new TV. Then you go to the back of the TV and you find a multiple inputs. Then you find your bag with all the cables and they look like this. What to do? Now you finally managed to untangle all those cables you had in that bag. I'd like to talk to you about some of the cables you might have found in that bag and also like to talk to you from poorest to highest quality uh, as image goes. First cable I'd like to talk to you about is the coaxial cable. The cable looks like this. Basically this cable can go in the back of your cable box or back of satellite box or if not, if you don't have neither one of those, it will go in the back of your TV. This one, the longer the cable is, the poorer the quality is. You can use actually this cable to watch your TV. Uh, the second cable I'd like to talk to you about is actually the RCA cable. RCA cable looks like this. And you're going to have uh, yellow and you're going to have red and white. Red and white are basically audio. The yellow will be your video. This uh, actually still available in uh, newer TVs, but it's an old technology. It will be the second as far as quality goes. The third cable is actually a component cable. Again, you're going to have a red and white, which is going to be audio. And then you're going to have green, red, and blue. Basically are the three colors that basically your TV has to display the image. Those uh, colors will come in pure to your TV. And you can actually, the TV itself, the scrambles to that image or the colors and will give you a better quality. So again, better than the RCA because it's not compressing the colors. The fourth cable I'd like to talk to you about is actually the HDMI cable, which is the latest. Most TVs nowadays will have anywhere from two to four inputs, and this you can actually watch a much better image from your Blu-ray players, from uh, new cable boxes, and uh, Xbox, PlayStation 3s. Basically, this is a high-definition cable and will give you the best quality for your buck. So I will highly recommend to use an HDMI cable. Now, if you want something to go along as far as the audio goes, I would recommend you use the optical cable. If you have a Bose system or any surround sound system, more than likely you're going to have an output, uh, an input for this, and this will come out of your TV into your, uh, your component, your surround sound system or your Bose system. You will get a more crisp, uh, better sound as far as it goes. Uh, you're going to have a sur surround sound. Uh, 3D. So if you're watching a movie, I highly recommend you use an optical cable. The other cable I'd like to talk to you is going to be your VGA cable. The VGA cable, we basically, uh, if you want to display your whatever you have a portable um, computer, you can actually view and use your TV as a display. This is something that I would recommend for you to use if you're doing a presentation. Um, again, you do have an input for that on the back of your TV. The other cable will be, in case you want to watch uh, the internet through the TV, you can use this ethernet cable, uh, even though some TVs nowadays do come wireless. Uh, so again, I hope this uh, small presentation will give you a little bit of input on what goes in the back of your TV, and hopefully all those cables you have laying around will work for you, and you don't have to go out and purchase additional cables. Thank you, and uh, I'm going to be providing a small uh, paper showing uh, the map of where those cables go. Thank you. Have a good day.